everybody welcome back to my channel it's journey marie and today we're going to be reacting to arrival i don't know absolutely anything about this movie other than it's probably about aliens that's pretty much all i know um but yeah it has high ratings a lot of people like it i've heard that it's a really good movie i've got it recommended to me so yeah i'm excited to get into it just make sure that you please subscribe to my channel if you watch my videos and you're not subscribed yet it really really helps and i really appreciate it and let's get straight into today's reaction You want me to chase you? You better run. Her laugh is so cute. I love you. I hate you. Oh. Oh no, oh my gosh. Come back to me. Baby, come back to me. Whew, got goosebumps. Uh, the story of Portuguese begins in the kingdom of Galicia. Uh, sorry? In the Middle Ages, where language was seen as an expression of art. This way you know something's going down. Everybody phone going off. Any news you want to share? Dr. Banks, can you turn the TV to a news channel? Come on. Turn the TV on. As you can see, we've gotten just about as close as we can, but unfortunately, Montana right now is on complete lockdown. The object uh, apparently touched down 40 minutes ago, just north of I-94. See, I feel like this isn't too far-fetched for real life. Like, if this happened in real life, I wouldn't be that surprised. ...have landed at as many as eight other locations around the world. Yes, can we? This is from a site in Hokkaido. This is worldwide. It is happening right now. <laughs> Woo! I got goosebumps. Okay. Uh, class is dismissed. This is kind of reminding me of COVID because I was in school when COVID first happened and they sent us all home. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Honestly, uh, what do you even do in this situation? For now, we're simply asking for cooperation. This is some sort of peaceful first contact. Why send 12? Why not just one? Because they're probably here to attack. I don't know, Mom. I'm watching the same news coverage you are. So I'm like, does she not have a husband or anything when she had her daughter? Like, she's just all alone? I feel like for her, after losing a daughter, you probably wouldn't care too much about something like this happening because... It's like the worst thing that could have ever happened to you already happened. You lost your child, so I wonder how she's going to react with all this. After Tuesday's did she think anybody was going to show up? We never formally met, but two years ago you did some Farsi translations for Army Intelligence. Hi. You make quick work of those uh, insurgent videos. You make quick work of those insurgents. You are on the top of everyone's list when it comes to translations. Damn, they're just gonna come in and. Why are you here? Can you can you understand us? How is she supposed to translate that? Now, so how would you approach translating this? You hear any words? Phrases? I don't, I, I, I don't know. They're not speaking like a language. I know what you're doing. Tell me what I'm doing. I'm not taking you to Montana. It's all I can do to keep it from turning into a tourist site for everybody who has a TS clearance. I'm just telling you what it would take to do this job. 
Otherwise, I can't help you. Your chance to go. Good day. Y'all need me. Going to ask Danvers next? Maybe. Before you commit to him, ask him the Sanskrit word for war and its translation. He not gonna know it, huh? Cause he's not as good as me. Fell over two thousand points in its worst weekly decline. Are they here to get her? helicopter i want to see what they look like the aliens because they sound scary language is the foundation of civilization it's the glue that holds the people together it is the first weapon drawn in the conflict it's quite a greeting yeah well he wrote it i'm about to say is he reading her book it's wrong well the cornerstone of civilization isn't language it's science starting with a series of just a handshake binary sequences. How about we just talk to them before we start throwing math problems at them? Right? I mean, if the aliens were going to do something bad, I feel like they would have done it by now. So maybe they really just want to, like, talk. <laughs> Was that a dead body or something? Louise Banks, Ian Donnelly. When was the last time either of you have eaten? Last night. Same. When's the last time you did something stressful? Does now count? Right? <laughs> this is pretty stressful. Carted off in the medevac. Not everyone is able to process experiences like this. So what happened? They passed out and died? Or did they take their own life? Their atmosphere is different from Earth. It would certainly take hours to, to rebalance their O2 content and pressure for us every time they open their door. So you're saying they could suffocate us if they wanted? This is Agent David Helper. So they could hurt them if they want, and I don't think they want to hurt them. They could kill them if they wanted. Like a glass wall, you can't get to them. Okay. So what do they look like? You'll see soon enough, hurry up. I imagine they're pretty big for that big old ship they're on. It's interesting that they even let the humans into their ship. Like they just opened it up for them. It's not even on the ground. It's suspended right above the ground. It's just floating. That's where we go in. The first person to go in that door must have been brave because hell no. See, I would want to touch it with my hand so I could like really feel it. <laughs> he excited. The little old light. It's so confusing, like there's no gravity. <laughs> Zero gravity. They brought space down here. It's all good, sir. You can proceed. Stand by. That's actually really cool, though. Yeah. Like Max. You can do this. She's starting to panic a little bit. I think. <laughs> Very. 
very smooth. Yeah. He's just taking it all in. It's like they're moving straight, but they're really moving up as they're walking. It's crazy. This music just makes it more, more creepy. A bird. So, what happens now? They arrive. Well, okay then. I think I see something. see them actually <laughs> hell no we don't get to see what happened <laughs> oh god you're better than the last guy that doesn't make me feel any better. Hey, what happens then? You go back in. So what, the first time she couldn't really do it? I wonder if the last guy who was trying to do it was the one in that body bag? Their website claims the arrival of the aliens set in motion a prophecy that 12 sets of 12 should be followed. It's probably a lot of conspiracy theorists trying to figure it out, a lot of religions. But they might have some sort of written language or basis for visual communication. Okay. Let's get Yeah, I feel like symbols and stuff will probably be more effective than actual talking. But those are like letters though. They probably can't read. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. They're just standing there. Did they just leave? What's happening? Just write something in the air. Okay. Is it? Are they telling her what they are? I don't want to take away from your success in there, but Dr. Banks, is this really the right approach? Trying to teach him how to speak and read. What the heck do you want me to do? I'm trying to communicate. And the point is? It wasn't until later that they learned that kangaroo means I don't understand. So I need this so that we don't misinterpret things in there. Otherwise, this is going to take 10 times as long. Right. Wow, well, I never knew that. Kangaroo don't even, it means something so totally different. It's not true. But it proves my point. Wow, I fell for that. But it still does make sense. We think we were able to reproduce some prime number sequences back up. So that's something. Well, congratulations, you're a parrot. But it's a lot more than that, you cheeky bastard. 
problem is, not everyone shares our policy of being open with the aliens. Have you met General Shang? The call sign for him is Big Domino. Whatever Shang does, at least four other nations will follow him. Were they trying to fight him, start a war with him? That's dumb. Is their motivation so instinctive that they don't understand a why question at all? And, and biggest of all, we need to have enough vocabulary with them that we understand their answer. Right. She know what she doing. They should just trust her. I feel like the aliens are going to end up liking her. Please, I am. Please. Oh, they writing stuff off the bat now. What is she doing? Dr. Banks? Dr. Banks. It's okay, Doesn't she need that? They need to see me. Take it off her head, Mr. Dr. Banks. Is she okay? Oh, she brave. They need to see me. Dr. Banks. Should we abort? Go back to your stations. I don't know if this is smart or really dumb. She's brave as hell. That's too close. Fuck! Are they trying to touch the screen with her? I guess they're friends now. Screw it. Ian. Louise. I think those are their names. That's what I'm thinking. Bye-bye. I hope they don't get in trouble for what they did because it worked. She thinking about her daughter. You don't need to worry, okay? Just calm down. Just calm down. Honey, it's not gonna happen. I think the aliens seem nice. I don't think they seem hostile or like they're trying to fight. They seem like they just want to talk for real. Yeah, I can imagine it's going to be hard for her to focus. I wonder how long ago she lost her daughter at this point. Sheena Easton had a hit song at each of these sites in 1980, so we just don't know. Stupid. They are really teaching him English. Nice out here, huh? Yeah, it's a nice view. Away from the noise. You know, I was just thinking about you. Oh, yeah? I, I watch you steer us around these communication traps that I didn't even know existed. So, what? Does he like her a little bit? Trust me, you can uh, understand communication and still end up single. <laughs> Seems like it might be a perfect match. Yeah, it's a good thing, though, right? You and I? You seen the jokers that we're working with? I'm glad I got you. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh, God. Biological contamination is a major risk factor at the Montana site, so say environmental pressure groups. 800,000 march on Washington to protest the government's handling of the crisis. People are just panicking. They don't know what's going on. The government. That's right, folks. The same government who ruined our health care and bankrupted our military. Look at these people. Most of them don't even have guns. 
we could be facing a full-scale invasion. The conspiracy theorists, sometimes they be right, but sometimes they be doing too much. Going asleep at the wheel, people. You know what I'm talking about. I know you do. What if the smartest thing we could do right now would be to give them a show of force? I'm talking about a shot across the bow. But why would you do that if they're not being hostile, if they're not being, you know, violent? Why would you want to provoke them? going on with her? Want to see new project from Miss Garriott's class? Yeah, little nose. And who are those two people? That's you and Dad. The show is called Mommy and Daddy Talk to Animals. What happened to the dad? Um, you know it's okay to be sad that your dad you and know, I... You I'm not. So we both love you very much. So they just got divorced or something. She needs someone to talk to. They should get her a, a mental health doctor where she could at least talk to Ian about it or something. How you think and... Yeah, it affects how you see everything. It was, uh... I'm curious, are you dreaming? in their language. That would be interesting. I mean, I've had a few dreams, but I don't. I don't think that that makes me unfit to do this job. The hell? Oh my God. Was that a dream? Are they using a game to converse with their heptapods? Maybe. Why? Well, let's say that I taught them chess instead of English. Every conversation would be a game, every idea expressed through opposition. So that's not very smart. If all I ever gave you was a hammer. Everything's a nail. We need to ask the big question. But like the aliens that they're talking to, wouldn't they like talk to the other aliens too and like educate them on what they're learning? Do we only have Costello? Okay, there you are. Oh, they got something to say off the bat. What does it say? Offer weapon. Offer weapon? We have to consider the idea that our visitors are prodding us to fight among ourselves until only one faction prevails. There's no evidence of that. I'm sure there is. Let's grab a history book. The British with India, the Germans with Rwanda. They're not human though. They don't think like us. Shut us Put down. us on radio silence. Do it. We received a message from the hep... Damn it! We need to be talking to each other. You want to talk to them? Find out what this means. Base camp talk is now offline. All interpreters... No confirmation. They are offline. Now everybody's logging off. In a statement, General Shang said, China no longer trusts the aliens who want to divide us. Humanity must be protected. China has asked for immediate talks at the UN. But what can y'all really do? Like, y'all are not blowing up this, this big old ship. There's nothing y'all can really do. A bomb, was it? Dr. Banks, you can't go in there. We just there. need to ask one question. Dr. Banks, the session is finished. You can't, you can't go back in. It's dangerous. Look, we just need five minutes. Don't sweat it. Marks, let him go. They put a bomb in here? Technology, apparatus, method. Yeah, see, this is a different word. This, this segment, it's a lot busier. It's so cool how they figured out how to communicate with them like this. What's he doing? Is he knocking? Captain, on your ten. I 
I think the one who put the bomb in there is the one who was watching that conspiracy theorist on YouTube or whatever. So he probably think he's doing something that'll help. The fire only. Load up and get to cover. Stay frosty and we can avoid casualties. They're going rogue. What is she feeling? Is she writing? Did she just write in their language? What is that? <gasps> they out there going crazy. It saved them. These aliens care about these two. Same as you. He's okay. Who bought him? Who did this? Uh, some soldiers. I've been watching too much TV. They really thought a bomb was going to do something. Glad to see you awake. We need to go back in and we need to explain to them that this wasn't our we, fault. We, we can't go back inside. We have to. What happened in there was an attack. We can hope for the best, but I have orders to prepare for retaliation. I think they knew that it wasn't them two. They stay, we have to stay. Y'all done scared them off? Look what y'all done did. Well, they're not leaving. Why does this feel worse? They're not leaving, but they don't trust y'all no more. China becomes the first world power to declare war against the aliens. How dumb does that sound? Pakistan, Russia, and Sudan are thought to be following China's lead. Y'all are not finna penetrate this big old egg ship. Like, none of y'all weapons are gonna work. That's so dumb. Compromise. No, like, it's a competition, mm -hmm. but both sides end up happy. A draw? If anyone is receiving this, please. Well, I mean, there are a lot of ways you can interpret what he said. I don't I'm about to say, maybe we're misinterpreting. We offer ours in return. Yeah. A trade? It's a non zero sum game. Non zero sum game. Why did they give me goosebumps? What we need is to get all the other nations online before one starts global war. And there's no way for us to reach them. Well, hold on a second. She's figuring something out right now. The hell? So she saw this before she even walked out there. She was seeing this while she was still in there. Did they send her a message? That's crazy. They sent some transportation for her. It's okay, you can trust them. She can't breathe. Is she finna be in there with them, like face to face now? They're behind you. Uh, <laughs> or above you. I mean, they 
you must really trust her, right? To bring her all the way in. Damn, it's bigger than I thought. Abbott is death process. He's dying. I'm sorry. So they can understand her words and she can read their symbols. I need you to send a message to the other sites. No, she don't. I don't understand. Like, what are you talking about? How can you know the future? So it's like, we gonna help y'all now and y'all gonna help us in 3,000 years? I don't, I don't understand. Who is this child? Louise sees future? What does that mean? Believe it or not, I know something that's going to happen. I can't explain how I know, I just do. So she knew this was going to happen? And he said I made the wrong choice. And your poetry and all the other amazing things that you share with the world. I am unstoppable. Yeah. There's just so many pieces. I don't know how they all go together. I just realized why my husband left me. My husband left me. Oh, you were married? And what the heck is the ship doing? Well, that's not good. Your name is very special because it is a palindrome. It reads the same forward and backward. Okay. Kind of like race car. Now I know what it's called, a palindrome. But what does that have to do with anything? Hey. Look, we're done here. We're taking this with us. So that was from her book? Or is she teaching this in the future? Really learn it. You begin to perceive time the way that they do. So, so you can see what's to come. But time, it, it isn't the same for them. It's non-linear. So they gave them the ability to see into the future? You're lifting off in five minutes. Ian, Luis, it was an honor to work with. Good luck. Y'all are not listening to her. So this is a clip of the future, right? Your private number, General, I, I don't know your private number. Now you know. I believe it was important for you to see that. I called you, didn't I? Yes, you did. This is so confusing to me because I'm like, is she really seeing into the future? Is the aliens doing doing something to make her have these like visions? You told me my wife's dying words. Jun. That's crazy. Drop the phone now or we shoot. What are y'all doing? Like, y'all don't even know what's going on. Y'all trying to shoot her. 
the timeline aspect for me is so confusing because I'm like, so he told her in the future, but technically she should have known already to be able, but how did she, like, it's, it's, it's just, it's a lot. Are they just disappearing? The day they departed. Yeah, and I'm like, how does her daughter tie into this? And I welcome every moment of it. I have goosebumps all over my body. Her dad is the mathematician. So she saw their future. And that's why he said she made the wrong decision. Because she knew that she was gonna, their daughter was going to end up dying. But she still went through with it. And that's why he left her. Daddy. Wow, so the whole beginning of the movie didn't even happen yet. Oh, I got goosebumps. You know, I've had my head tilted up to the stars for as long as I can remember. Don't say it. It's me and you. It just makes me so sad knowing where it goes. Like, he's gonna leave her, the daughter's gonna die. But it's like, I guess in the end it's worth it, even if you know what's gonna happen. At least you still get to feel those feelings and experience love and family. I forgot how good it felt to be held by. I wonder how he found out that she knew what was gonna happen all along. Like, did she tell him? Yeah. And it's like, you can't even blame her for still going through with it because like, you would have never had your daughter. You would have never had that time to know your daughter. And so that was a rival. The more that I'm thinking about it, like after I, now that I know, like she was seeing the future the whole time and like, at the beginning, that stuff hadn't happened already with her daughter and everything. And that's the reason they never showed the dad. And the dad was a mathematician, so I should have put it together when I knew that. But I was just thinking, well, there's a lot of, like, mathematicians, physicists, you know. I wasn't thinking that was him. And then I was thinking it already happened. So I was thinking that her husband already left her. Her. And I remember she said something to him about, and he was like, you were married? But she wasn't married yet. She was gonna marry him. So now that I'm, now that I know, I just keep stuff just keep coming, and I'm just thinking about everything. I'm like, oh, so that's what that meant, and that's, yeah, that was like a crazy twist. I was not expecting that at all. And the fact that she still chose to get with him and them have a baby, knowing that the baby was gonna get sick and she was gonna end up dying when she got older. And her her husband was gonna end up leaving her because I guess he found out that she knew all along. And when she was like, I just figured out why my husband left me. She was talking about him. That's so crazy. And it hadn't happened yet. I guess the point of the movie or like her story was kind of just like how she said, like, if you could know your life from beginning to end, would you change a thing? And I feel like a lot of people, when they look back on their life, they're like, usually they're like, you know, a lot of bad things happen, but you know, it made me who I am. It happened for a reason. You know, everything happens for a reason. So I feel like the point is just like, even though she knew how it was going to end and how it was going to go it was still worth it to have those experiences to you know have the love of her daughter and know what that felt like hold her daughter and you know all those beautiful sweet moments between all of them and I can understand why he would leave her in the end after finding out that she knew and he felt like she made the wrong decision because it's like you could have saved us both this heartbreak of losing our daughter but 
but if he would have never like if you don't know that that's the end you would it's not like you would be like okay now that i know that's the end i don't want my daughter like i don't even want to have her in the first place no you're not going to say that like you still want to have that time and have and experience that love so it's just like i understand why he would leave her because that's a terrible heartbreak to go through losing your child and i guess if you could if you could um choose to not go through that or avoid that you would do that but we don't know how life is gonna go like you get with somebody you have a child you have this beautiful family like you don't know that if something really bad is gonna happen in the end but you still get that experience up until that point you still get that love you still get those experiences so yeah, that's kind of what I got from it. Let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed or misinterpreted or anything like that. I feel like this was a very complex movie. It was a lot to um to keep up with at times. So yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. It was like, it kept me really engaged, had me thinking a lot. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Let me know what y'all thought of this movie in the comments. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.